Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Hola, hola. Soy Romina Romagnolo. Mucho gusto. Soy tu profesora de español. Hi, guys. My name is Romina Romagnolo. I'm your Spanish teacher. Hoy tengo seis expresiones con el verbo gustar o relacionadas al verbo gustar para ti. Today I have six expressions uh, with the verb gustar, which means to like, or related to this verb in Spanish. Número uno. Mucho gusto. Repite, por favor. Mucho gusto. You probably know this one already, no? Mucho gusto is probably one of the first sentences that you learn when you start uh, learning Spanish, ¿no? ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa mucho gusto? Vamos, tell me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pleased to meet you, okay? Nice to meet you. That's what mucho gusto significa, okay? So, the literal translation of mucho gusto is actually a lot of pleasure, uh, a pleasure, um, to meet you, to, to come to acquaintance with you. Sort of like, what a pleasure to meet you. Número dos. No me gusta nada. Repite, por favor. Please repeat. No me gusta nada. No me gusta nada. Probablemente has escuchado a muchos latinos o españoles decir esta frase. You probably heard a lot of Latinos and Spaniards saying this phrase. Um, it's a little bit dramatic, just like we are. And uh, basically we're saying like we don't like something at all. Para nada. It's very, very emphatic, okay? Para nada. The, the literal translation is I don't like it at all. Uh, I don't like it for, for nothing. Like, I don't like nothing of it, okay? It's very uh, dramatic, okay? So if you find yourself in a formal setting uh, with people that you don't know very well, um, it's very important for you not to actually say this phrase because it can be a little bit harsh, okay? It's not offensive or it's not a bad word or anything like that, but uh, just be mindful that it's just a little bit uh, dramatic, a little bit too emphatic, no? So please, just use it when you're surrounded by people that you feel very comfortable with. Número tres. Yo gusto de salir a cenar. Repite, por favor. Yo gusto de salir a cenar. Muy bien. So the phrase that I'm focusing in here is actually Yo gusto de, and then an activity, right? You can say, like in this example, um, to go out to have dinner, uh, or pretty much anything else you like, no? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? What, what is it that you like to do? Yo gusto de mirar películas, I enjoy to uh, watching movies, I like to watch movies. So basically what you're saying is that these are the activities that you're fond of. Okay, um, instead of like saying, I enjoy doing these things, uh, I enjoy going to the movies with my friends. Yo gusto de uh, ir al cine con mis amigos. I enjoy um, uh, having drinks with uh, my mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Um, yo, dice, yo gusto de beber con mi mamá. <laughs> Número cuatro. María gusta de. Carlos. Repite, por favor. Please repeat. María gusta de Carlos. María gusta de Carlos. So here we are, we are being a little bit uh, gossip and we are telling people that María likes Charles. Yes, we, we usually teach our students that gustar um, is a verb that we use to talk about food, no? Like, I like burgers, me gustan las hamburguesas, uh, I like fruits, me gustan las frutas, uh, I like fish, me gusta el pescado, pero 
también es perfectamente posible utilizar gustar para hablar de personas y de sentimientos. So it's perfectly possible to use the verb gustar to talk about people uh, that we like, romantically speaking, that we feel attracted to, uh, that we are talking about our feelings, no? To talk about people and fe uh, feelings, it's perfectly possible to use el verbo gustar. So in this case, we were just saying, Maria likes Charles. Número 5. Me gustan algunas canciones de Shakira. Repite, por favor. Me gustan algunas canciones de Shakira. Es una mentira. Me gustan todas las canciones de Shakira. A mí me gusta muchísimo Shakira. So the, the thing that we're saying here is um, I like some of Shakira's song. Me gustan algunas canciones. So when people ask you, hey, do you like this? ¿Te gusta Shakira? O ¿Te gusta Colombia? O ¿Te gusta Argentina? ¿Te gusta viajar? Lo que sea. When people are asking you, uh, do you like doing this? Do you like doing that? Um, in that case, let's imagine that you do like these things, but you don't want to make it sound that you're you know, a massive big fan of something. It's actually a phrase that we use quite a lot in, in Latin America because we don't want to be disrespectful, for example, when we don't, uh, we don't like an artist. And we would still like to say like, yeah, yeah, I like Shakira, I like some of her songs, right? It doesn't mean that you bought every single disc of Shakira or that you have a Shakira t-shirt in your house and your whole house is decorated with her uh, photos. Um, you, but you are aware of her, you like some of her songs, and yes, you like her, so you, you can say just that. Me gustan algunas canciones de Shakira. Y finalmente, número 6. ¿Puede gustar o no gustar? Repite, por favor. ¿Puede gustar o no gustar? So, this phrase is translated into English as whether we like it or not. Of course, it depends on the, on the context, no? If, if you're going to be translating this whether we like it or not, if you're talking about yourself, including a group of people, we, right? Whether we like it or not, we have to do this. Puede gustar o no gustar, pero tenemos que hacer esto. So we like it, whether we like it or not, we have to do this. But in other contexts, for example, where you're referring to other people, right? Um, then of course the translation is going to change a little bit, no? Uh, let's say, for example, Puede gustar o no gustar, pero la gente necesita pagar sus impuestos. Uh, eh, whether people like it or not, um, they will have to pay taxes. They have to pay their taxes. People need to pay their taxes. Muy bien, es el final del video. Muchísimas gracias por ver esta clase. It's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Um, I want to hear from you. If you have any questions, let me know down below, okay? In the comments down below. Si tienes preguntas, por favor, me dejas un mensaje en los comentarios. Y también yo quiero saber de ti. I want to know from you. Um, ¿Ya conocías estas frases? Did you know these phrases already? Which ones did you know? Okay, let me know in the comments. And if you know any other uh, phrases that you heard in Spanish related to the verb gustar, I would also love to hear that from you. Muchísimas gracias y nos vemos. Adiós.